All right, so we have the drone down on the floor here right now, and the top is forward, so the drone is facing that way as forward. And the normal startup procedure here is to turn on the controller first. So push, and you see the flashing light there. Now you have to push and hold on the drone, so push and hold for like two seconds, and now you see everything is flashing. Now the way to, I guess, kind of arm the drone or get it to a, a point where it's ready to be used is you take the, the left joystick here, you go up with it, and then you go down with it. So all the way up and all the way down and the, the flashing will, will stop and the lights will turn solid. So all the way up, all the way down, and now you see we have solid lights turned on. Okay, so the one of the easiest ways to start this drone is to use what they call the B button, which is this uh, right top button here. Now, you're going to want to make sure you do that on the floor because it's automatically going to fly the drone up to about eye level for an adult. So, um, if you were to start on a workbench or a table, it would probably hit the ceiling. So, with that said, if you hit the B button, the drone will start to fly. And there's the hover, and you'll notice this one has a little bit of drift, so I'm having to manually compensate. I'm manually having to go to the left and forward a little bit to keep it from kind of drifting into other things in my workshop. So that's really where the calibration is going to have to come in. Now, if you panic and you don't know what to do, you can always hit that B button again, and it's going to fly down. Yeah, see the drift on this one is kind of bad. You saw how it went down into the right there. Um, but it did, it did automatically land itself. Um, alternatively, you can just take control of the... And you can actually use the throttle and, and just turn the throttle up to go up, like I mentioned before. And again, you still have some drift here that you have to manually compensate for. But um, we'll get into that in the next calibration video. There we go.